Julian, thank you very much for being here. So let's start with the additional information you have regarding Hillary Clinton. When can we expect this information? Well, we are working around the clock. Uh, we have received quite a lot of material uh, stimulated, of course, by the U.S. election process and by our, our major DNC revelation, which has now led to the resignation of five top officials in the DNC, including De Debbie Wilson and Schultz, uh, the president, the last one uh, late last week. So, you know, it's a, it's a complex business what we do. Um, we have to uh, assess the veracity. We have a perfect 10-year record so far uh, in never getting it wrong. Uh, we want to keep that reputation, uh, understand how things should be formatted, what media we should be uh, involved in, what is the best way to stage it out. Uh, do we accumulate everything, assess it, publish it all in one batch, mm -hmm. uh, or do we do several batches? The approach uh, that we've decided to take uh, is that we do several batches. But what, I mean, give us a general sense. I mean, are we, are we going to see it before the November 8th election? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, in the case of the DNC uh, leaks, for example, uh, we uh, pushed as fast as we could uh, to try and get it in before the uh, Democratic nomination conference because obviously people have a right to understand uh, who it is that they're nominating it and what sort of process was involved. And the same is true here. Uh, for the U.S. electoral process, uh, people involved in that election uh, have the right to understand um, who it is they're electing. Now, you've seen it, right? Can, can you tell us how significant you believe it is? I mean, compare its significance to what we saw released by WikiLeaks in July. Well, we, I don't want to scoop ourselves. Uh, we have a lot of pages of material, thousands of pages of material. So. Uh, it's, no, I have not read every single page. Uh, we're hard at work uh, in doing that, um, trying to understand, etc. I don't want to give the game away, but um, it's a, a variety of different types of documents from different uh, types of institutions that are associated uh, with the uh, election campaign. Uh, some quite um, unexpected uh, angles that are, that are you know, quite interesting, some, um, some even entertaining. Do you, you know, right now, according to the average of all polls, she's beating Donald Trump by 5.5 uh, points nationwide. She's way ahead of him in most of the swing states, not all. Do you believe the information in your possession could be a game changer in the U.S. election? I think it's significant. Uh, you know, it's, it depends on how it catches fire in the public uh, and in the media. Mm -hmm.